This is an in-office screen to evaluate the possibility of a vertebral artery dissection. If you look at this image over here, vertebral artery dissections tend to happen right where C1 um, moves forward, creating a tensile force on the vertebral artery. Um, that's with extreme rotation. People don't realize it, but also when the cervical spine extends, adhesions in the fascia in the, uh, around the posterior aspect of C1 can lock the vertebral artery down. Then as the occiput extends, it can create a tensile force where you see that arrow, which can also produce dissection. So dissections tend to happen with extremes in rotation and extension. They happen in one in 100,000 people spontaneously. Um, and the main thing is that it produces a headache that people present to chiropractors for. If they present out for um, chiropractic evaluation, chiropractic manipulation does not cause a dissection, but if the dissection is there, it can worsen it. So there's a few simple in-office screens that can predict whether or not that um, dissection is a possibility. And the reason it can is because the vertebral artery gives off branches, the posterior inferior cerebellar artery, it's right around the brainstem, just around C1, just above it as you go past the frame and magnum. Lateral spinal thalamic is there, spinal cerebellar, trigeminal, vagal, cerebellum, and vestibular nuclei. They all produce very specific symptoms, um, and we're going to run through a test to identify that right now. The first track we're going to evaluate is the ascending spinal tract in the nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. Um, trigeminal nerve provides sensation along the outside of the face, so you just take a brush that's on one end of a reflex hammer. Patient looks forward, close your eyes please. Tell me if I'm touching the right or the left side of your face. Left. Right. I do that very lightly. Um, and the next test is to evaluate the dorsal vagal nerve, which is the nucleus ambiguous. Really easy test to do. Um, you just have the patient a whisper, so I want you to say one, two, three. One, two, three. And then open wide. Now say ah. Ah. And you look for um, deviation of the palate. The next test is to evaluate autonomic fibers. This is a really nice test because it, it, it's easy to do when the autonomic nerves are involved. You get big temperature um, changes in the skin. You'll see more than four degree temperature changes. The sympathetic nervous system it becomes active, produces uh, re, uh, cutaneous constriction. And you'll see four, five, six degree temperature differences in the hands. You have the patient put their hands down. I just use a standard temperature sensor. You get them at Home Depot. And I'll just point it, see that red dot? You got 78 degrees on one side. 76.4 on the other, 76.2, 77. So they're within two degrees, completely fine. If a vertebral artery dissection was there affecting autonomic fibers, you would see five or six degree temperature differences. to evaluate the vestibular nuclei. The simple way to do that is just look for horizontal nystagmus. So you're gonna follow my finger, keep your head still, move your eyes only. The presence of horizontal nystagmus would be a warning. You'd see the eyes flutter once you hit that full range of horizontal gaze. Next test is spinal thalamic. Spinal thalamic is frequently involved with um, injuries to the vertebral artery. And spinal thalamic controls pain and temperature on one side of the body. One of the easiest ways to do is just have the patient lift up their shirt. You can take a metal ruler or um, a vi metal vibrating a tuning fork and just place it over the mid sagittal bisection of the abdomen. If a vertebral artery dissection is present, there's a clear, distinct line where they can't feel the temperature. Another really easy way to do it is just to take a tuning fork that's room temperature or feels really cold, and say, I pray to place it on there, and does that temperature feel the same? And then I flip it over so it's the same, it didn't get warmed up, is that temperature? Yes. Um, and that would be negative. If there's a injury to spinal thalamic, it, they don't even feel the cold from the tuning fork. Final test we're going to do to evaluate vertebral artery, um, the potential for vertebral artery injury is to evaluate the cerebellum. So to do that, we're going to do um, a series of tests. The first one is just going to be a Romberg's test. Let me have you stand up, please. And put your arms inside. Now close your eyes and balance. 
with Romberg's test, you just look to see if the patient sways anywhere, if the patient starts to move. This is one of my favorite tests for um, cerebellar function. You're going to rapidly move your arms aside like this and stop abruptly. So there you go. Now put your arms down again. And now go up about this high and stop abruptly. Perfect. If a cerebellar injury was present, the arms would, the involved arm, the ipsilateral arm on the side of this um, vertebral artery dissection, wouldn't be able to stop in time and there would be a drift to it. So instead of it being like this, it would be like this and they wouldn't even come close to matching the same distance. And there's a gait evaluation that you can do that takes a second and it gives you important information about vertebral artery dissection. We're gonna go out in the hallway. And to do a gait evaluation, you just have the person walk to the end of the hallway and then turn around and walk back towards me. And when there is no cerebellar injury, you do just that. It's a straight walk, a perfect turnaround, they come back. If there is a, a cerebellar injury, let me have you walk to the end. Um, and then at, when they change direction and they fall or lean slightly as they change direction because the process of turning around is, is complicated and the cerebellum is evaluating a lot of in information. With an ipsilateral injury like that, they, have, they lose balance temporarily as they're, fall, as they're changing direction and you pick it up with a, a shift as they change direction.